In the mid-1980s, Oprah Winfrey had upstaged Phil Donahue to become a formidable TV personality. She had secured a $230,000 a year contract and broken the cycle of poverty she was born into. But to her, the deal was not good. Not Oprah good, anyway. She felt that her long-term agent was selling her short. So she found a new person for the job, Jeff Jacobs, who would help Oprah become America's first black billionaire. In the 80s, Oprah was recording a massive viewership and there were talks of taking her talk show national. Jacobs believed that Oprah shouldn't just be a paid performer, but an owner, a business partner. He renegotiated her deal with TV syndicator King World and ABC Network and presented their conditions. They wanted ownership of the show and agreed to bear the production costs. The network agreed and the Oprah Winfrey Show was launched. The show's massive popularity took Oprah's net worth to 100 million in 1990. She built her own studio and company called Harpo. And Jacobs became Harpo's president, a job he held until 2002. As the Oprah Winfrey Show became the number one daytime talk show, a new deal was brokered with the network that included book deals, movie productions, and even a magazine. Jacobs recognized Oprah's hypnotizing talent and force and helped her transition from an overpaid employee to an owner. We are an intellectual property company and our partners ABC, Hearst, and Oxygen are distributors. Core content is developed here and has never left our home base, is how Jacobs saw the Oprah brand. Fortune has called Jacobs the little-known power behind the media queen's throne. Oprah agrees. When Jeff came in, he took the ceiling off my brain, she has said. Jacobs made her realize that she could run an empire and became her combative dealmaker. He is a piranha, and that's a good thing for me to have, said Oprah. Oprah's peers, other daytime talk show personalities, are millionaires, but she has a net worth of $3.5 billion, and a large part of it is because of her business partner, Jacobs. This partnership worked because there was a clear brand and a clear manager. Jacobs was the behind-the-scenes person for Oprah. He complimented her instinctive management skills with his clever strategic planning. Oprah and Jacobs show how businesses benefit when partners bring their own unique skill sets, but work together to double the power of their companies.